Today kicks off National Volunteer Week. It is part of a month-long celebration recognizing volunteers. Those who give their time have a profound impact on improving our community and helping those they serve. And WATE 6 on your side consumer reporter Don Dare sat down with a man who helped start a volunteer program that has helped thousands in East Tennessee, Don. Well, that's right, Elizabeth. It's called Operation Inasmuch. And over a decade, lots of projects have been undertaken in our area. You may have participated in one of them or know someone who did. And, and there are those who say they don't have enough time or they don't have skills to volunteer. Even if you don't think you have skills or who knows, you might find or learn skills you never thought you had once you step forward and join a volunteer team. For over a decade, hundreds of volunteers around East Tennessee have taken part in Operation Inasmuch. It's a faith-based nonprofit that works with church groups and others, mobilizing volunteers to give back and help those in need. David Crocker founded Operation Inasmuch in 2007 when he pastored a church in North Carolina. The name Inasmuch comes from the Bible's New Testament, Matthew 25:40. Inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. So when we serve someone, we not only give them help for their immediate need, maybe hunger, maybe shelter, whatever that need may be, but we give them hope because someone has stepped up to help them, and that gives a person hope. Operation Inasmuch is an example of what people can do when they volunteer their time and service. But one of the things that has gotten to be a little bit bigger uh, in our Tool, toolbox, I guess, is food packing events where we pack uh, thousands of meals to uh, serve hungry people. Over the years, Operation Inasmuch has expanded into 25 states, and over 2,300 groups have participated in service projects to improve people's lives. Wheelchair ramps, a number of those. Uh, we do things to take care of the elderly, uh, children that are disadvantaged. It's the power of people working together, tackling a project that can make a difference to the one being served and the one who volunteers. Serving others can, can really be powerful, can it? Absolutely. It can change hearts and minds, and in some cases, it can transform lives. And what does someone who serves others, what do they gain from it besides feeling good? Besides feeling good, they know that they are making a difference in someone's life. Yet so many people can come up with a reason for not serving others. Right, they absolutely can. Uh, some people think they don't have enough time. I say it that way because I contend that we all have the same amount of time. It's whether or not it's a priority. Mr. Crocker's even penned a book about serving. So Compassion Aries, Unleash the Power of Serving is uh, the book that I wrote just recently. And this is meant to help people understand at a deeper level what serving is all about so that it means more to them and it also enhances the effectiveness of their serving. Now, volunteering is a great group activity for churches, schools, civic groups, youth groups, workplaces, you name it. Some volunteer programs bring together people from diverse backgrounds for a purpose that goes beyond what they do. The next area-wide It Is Much Volunteer Day is set for the end of this summer. There will be more information on it as the time nears. Bo? All right, Don, thank you. And if you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddare.wat.com. You can also call a six on your side hotline number at 865-633-5974.